Hey, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this video, I want to show how we can create a layout in Oxygen that has a fixed left sidebar. Okay, let's start by creating a new page. And I'll call this fixed left sidebar. And I'm going to select none uh, for the template to inherit from because I want to start with a blank slate. We'll edit this page with oxygen. Okay, so what we'll do first is to add a columns element that has two columns. And let's set the height of this to 100 bh so it takes up the full height of the viewport. Okay. And uh, let's select the left column and we're going to set the width to 400 pixels. And let's add a logo and a menu in the left sidebar. I'm going to change the width of this logo to 200 pixels. Okay. And next we'll add a menu. I'm going to change the type of this, the layout of this menu to be vertical and I can add some um, margin at the top like that. And for this left sidebar, let's give it a dark background of say 3D4C59. Okay. So in the right side div, I would like to add the title and show the title and the content of this page. So I will select title and then below that I'll add content. Okay, so right now since there is no content, it's just a blank page. Uh, it's showing no data for field. I'll just save it and we'll go back to the admin and we'll add some content. Okay, let's update and then I'm going to reload the page in the oxygen editor. Okay. So as I, as I scroll down, you can see that since the um, height of the content is more than uh, what is the height of the viewport uh, it scrolls down like this and this is not what we want so what we need to do is to uh, select this parent columns element and set the overflow to hidden so I'm going to go to advanced layout and set the overflow to hidden so now when I scroll down it is not going to scroll down any uh, any further below the height of the viewport okay but for the content we want the content to be shown when we scroll down so I'll select that div and set the overflow to auto so that is nothing but scroll so now we have a vertical scroll bar appearing in the right side content which is what we want all right so for this div we want this right side content to take up whatever is the available space uh, that is the total width of the browser window minus the 400 pixels that we have set for this div so we'll need to set this div to grow for that i'll go to advanced layout and set flex grow to one so when i save this now 
and take a look at the front end. Let's take a look at uh, the width of this element. Yep, so it is 400 pixels. Okay. Let us add a box shadow to the left column. So it appears in between the left and right um, divs. So I'm going to select this div and go to advanced and go to effects and then box shadow and with this we set the color to light gray. And for the horizontal offset, I'll set this to 5 pixels and the vertical offset will set to 0. Blur, let's set this to 25 pixels and spread as 0. So that basically adds a light um, a box shadow to the right side of this left div. So this is what uh, we wanted and it looks fine and works fine on the desktops. So let's take a look at uh, the responsive view. I'm gonna go to this 1120 breakpoint and you can see that the menu has collapsed into the hamburger at this stage. So let us set this such that the left sidebar appears at the top and the right side bear appears below that from 1120 pixels and below. So if I go back to the columns element, uh, here there is an option that says stack columns vertically. Here I'm going to set this to 1120 and below. So now as you can see, uh, the left one appears at the top and right one appears at the bottom. But it, it does not look good because we have set a fixed height of 100 VH for the parent columns. We need to remove that. So while making sure that I'm at 1120 pixels breakpoint, I, would I will now go to advanced uh, size and spacing and set the height to auto. Okay. Cool. Now let's select this uh, menu and change the color of this to white so i'll go to mobile responsive icon styles icon color change it to white and let us move this hamburger menu icon to the right side so i'm going to select this uh, div and set this child items to stack horizontally like that and we'll select space between to basically separate these things out like that. Okay, so let's go back to let's go to 992 pixels. That looks fine. 768 is also fine. 480 is also fine. But if you want, uh, at this 480 pixels, you could um, change this to stack vertically so they appear like that. And we could also set this to um, center for the horizontal alignment like that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 1120 and click on this and see what, oh, before that, let me just save it. So you click on this and then you can't really see the close button because that close button um, basically gets the same color as what we have set for the hamburger menu icon which is white and since it is white on white we cannot really see it it's here so what we can do is to set the background color of this entire uh, overlay to something darker so I'm gonna go to uh, mobile responsive menu styles and set this background color to the color that we have set earlier for the left column like that
we can see this in action by reducing the width of the browser window you can see at this stage it collapses into the hamburger and appears on the right and it continues to remain like that until when it hits 480 pixels it comes below like that okay i hope you found this helpful bye for now